Our assigned missions are typical of the kinds of things that citizen airmen can do. April 1948, the Air Force Reserve was established. Seventy years later, Captain Hodson and her KC-10 crew can extend vital missions by thousands of miles or dozens of hours. We planned that we were going to Tampa and then going to stay in Tampa for a couple nights, bring some airplanes back from South America and then come back to Travis. So it seemed like a pretty vanilla mission, pretty easy. Air Force Museum at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, is filled with stories of our past. Every aircraft, every rivet, every fastener represents a challenge overcome, and not just in the sky. The Air Force is filled with stories of airmen who relied on their training, experience, and no small dose of courage to get the job done. Doolittle, Stewart, Reagan, all reservists. Jimmy Stewart, a bomber pilot over Europe. He not only served as a reservist, but rose to the rank of Brigadier General. Jimmy Doolittle, his raider struck a blow when America needed it most. Yet he was also a world-renowned civilian pilot and reservist. A Doolittle still serves in the Air Force today. Um, they decided there was a more important mission coming down the pipes and they retasked us and gave us a call and let us know that we were going to be going to um, McGuire and then Lodges. But it was definitely going to be a much more complex mission than what we were planning for when we left Travis Air Force Base. And uh, I can't see, uh, see much with the spray. You're going to kind of help me uh, as I get on the boom. Copy that. I'm having uh, a little difficulty. The A-10s, um, when we were flying over the Atlantic, we were as high as they wanted to be, and the clouds were right at our level. We'll move up when this guy's done. The other guy read you guys the weather. Uh, it hasn't changed. We'll get another update here in probably about 45 minutes. Copy. The comfort to do that kind of stuff comes with a little bit more experience. In April 1948, the Air Force Reserve took flight with a well-defined mission. Fly, fight, and just like they had done in World War II, win. The expertise gained by aviators throughout the Second World War wasn't lost when the war ended. Part-time military service allowed many to continue serving. The citizen airman model is still in use today, 70 years later. In fact, many of the professional pilots across the country served in, or like Captain Hodson, had their start in the Air Force Reserve. They bring that experience back here on the weekends or during the weekdays when they fly, and there's, there's opportunity to fly with the young lieutenants of active duty and, and kind of tell them what we've seen also is what it's like on the outside to mentor them, to give them, to pay that back for what we were given as lieutenants. So you're clear to contact? Every ounce of fuel counts out there. 15 Zulu to 24 Zulu is the gusty wind. 
even after the clouds were behind them, the weather would continue to present a challenge. But we were worried that the winds were going to be exceeding the capabilities of our aircraft and most definitely the A-10s. So we had enough gas to take us on to Moron if we needed to go on. So it was kind of another, um, you know, waiting to make a game time decision of are we going to Lodges or are we going to Moron? And fortunate for us, it was a headwind, so it wasn't a crosswind. So we were able to land and it also hadn't started raining yet. So we had the landing distance. We weren't worried about the winds and we were able to get the um, A-10s in ahead of us. So we waited for them to land and make sure that they were safe and sound since they had less options than we did. They had less gas than we did. So we let them land first and then uh, followed them behind them and landed safely into lodges. When you take a moment, and you don't really have the time to take a moment when you're doing it, but when you kind of decompress at the end of the day and you think of all the training that you've done and that it's, it's rewarding because it's paid off. I have some friends that make fun of me that say you walk differently when you put on your flight suit. I think it's just, it sounds so corny and cliche, but it's a sense of pride to know that you're part of something bigger than yourself. And I think the flight suit gives you that pride and that integrity and that feeling that comes with wearing the bag and going out and flying a gray jet. So I'm really proud to be able to say that we did that kind of stuff. And um, you get to work with some of the greatest men and women that you ever, ever um, brush shoulders with. I look forward to what's to come. Today, the Air Force Reserve has 70,000 airmen stationed all over the world, flying and fighting side by side with their active duty counterpart. It's truly one of the most amazing things in the world. The next generation of reservists are in classrooms today. They're in high schools and colleges from every community. Technology changes. Commitment does not. To those who served before us, we honor and thank you. As we mark our 70th year of service, rest assured, we're just getting started. The UHF is on the plate that I have here.